right recap in the first green day setup on oil so coming into the London session the first thing we have to do is box off the consolidation there's a low made from yesterday and there's the high so we can see coming into the Asian session prices come up into the high to make a high and then fall down into the lows now this is classed as a false break reversal to the back. We've got a three candle pin spiking through the low of the day and the consolidation. Now I'm looking for longs because of the overall template because we've had the big dump in price, we've had the first green day and now we've had a consolidation with a setup, a three candle pin at the low of the day. So if we let this one play out, going down to the five minute for the five minute entry, um, the 15 minute entry was a lot better here because the EMAs was quite far away and it was a, a vertical V reversal, false break reversal, rather than a consolidation down low where the EMAs come closer. Looking now on the five minute, we've come up, we'd be break even after this high is broken and we have now come up into the second high. We'd be at 2.5% profit about but this is where you'd be looking to take a small bit of profit or 100% going break even if not already because we've had a nearly 100 pip move, a 90 pip move and now we're on the third drive got one drive, two drives, three drives into the high and knowing that in the New York session we've got the non-farm payrolls coming out so price could act a bit weird around there What's happened then is price has literally just fallen all the way back down to entry. So that's the London session trade over and done with. And we have a new low of day from London session. So now coming into the New York session, I'm literally looking for exactly the same thing. We have, I'm look, for, for the same thing, I'm looking for longs at the low of the day. On the five minute, you can see we've got three drives into the low. Three drives in a sense for the candles that just keep going lower and lower. That's the three drive formations. We've got a one drive, two drive, three drive. Now I'm looking for the close back above this EMA. Which that's the entry there. Also because we had the wick rejecting the EMA which is now broken. You can enter here. But because we are quite far away from the EMA, we're likely to have a pullback. But if not, you can either I'll put this one by here because this is a potential as well. If you want your stop loss at the lows, take profit at the high of the day for a one to three. If then you're waiting to get a better price fill, you're looking for a retest of the EMA, which we've got there, which you'd enter straight away. So you just tighten up your stop a little bit. 33 pips for the high of the day, obviously price can go a lot further, but this is because of it being Friday afternoon, you don't really want to be taking, you want to take the most position off at the high of the day to let the rest ride with a trailer on. There was no entry here just because it was NFP coming out in literally 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. If you wasn't in already from Obviously, with no news, if you wasn't in already from the first wick back down, you'd be entering here. Or when price goes back above, because if you see here, we've got a three drives, false break reversal below the low of the day. And then we could potentially have a W formation, which then happened. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was the open of NFP. NFP then pushed price higher. And now it would have been an instant, well, pretty much instantly, how long is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 minutes to one hour, you've got 3.7%. Here's the best trade setup, so you could risk 2% on that. But because of the news, there's no point taking a trade, obviously, because anything can happen. But that's the overall setup that has played out and has played out very well with the big dump off in price. We've also got day three traders, day three short traders in the market, a low of week, new peak formation. Consolidation um, into a London session. We had a perfect free candle pin that didn't blow off, and I think that's due to NFP. So, when you've got news in a New York session and you've got a perfect setup in a London session, sometimes it will go to your take profit, but sometimes it will come back down to stop and to then blow off with the news, which is what happened here. 
but this is a perfect first Green Day setup if there was new, no new setup.